Hello and welcome to the Narc Alert, the channel where we look at YouTubers and others to see if they demonstrate any traits that fall within the spectrum of narcissistic personality disorder or NPD. These videos are for fun and entertainment purposes only, strictly my opinion, and remember, please don't send any snark to our possible narcs. So key points to remember, messy fun, and not a diagnosis. Hello, hola, bonjour, hey, hey, y'all. Welcome back to Narc Alert Reacts. Um, Rio's here, but we're not going to mention his name because he's over on the couch and he's finally quiet. So between the newly started construction outside, it's construction season, of course, in Toronto, and the spring season filled cat. We're going to try our best to get through this reaction. Well, Amber Lynn Reed finally uploaded after another long hiatus. It seems she rarely, rarely uploads anymore. Um, of course, this is what we expected, sort of, although most of us were expecting quite a smug comeback after Amber has been proven right, where she said all along her mother did not unalive a service animal and people have dug in and actually made a phone call to court clerks and everything to find out that it was actually a typo. That never happened. Um, so the people who were, were, you know, gathering up the pitchforks to run over to Mama Lynn's house maybe have to stop and, and get a little beverage and regroup because that never happened. I am. Uh, so... We kind of expected Amber Lynn to come back with a pretty smug comeback, but smug she is not. Smug she is not. Amber Lynn's video that she dropped for us yesterday afternoon is called simply, I'm having a hard time. So, you know, I prefer it when she's just dumb and silly and we can just, you know, have some messy fun. But that's not what we've got right now. So let's try and, you know, get through what we've got and see what Amber has to say and what our reaction to it all is. Let's go. As usual, Ms. Amber Lynn, the floor is all yours. Hey guys, so welcome to a new video. So I figured since I have been gone for a little bit of time that I would come back with a Q and A just to kind of like check in. And I just didn't want to just like throw up a vlog and be like, hi guys, and act like I didn't disappear because I did. So let's do the Q&A. There is 15 questions and I had you guys ask me these questions from... Okay, does anyone else feel like Amber does Q&As? She likes, to she likes to frame it like she's, you know, touching base with her audience. But to me, it feels like she does a Q&A after something like this happened because it gives her an excuse to write her own questions so that she can give the answers and, and therefore control the narrative through the questions that, of course, the audience has given her. Let's see what these questions are. On Instagram, so let's get into it. So the first question is, why haven't you been uploading? I got a lot of like, where are you? We miss you. That why I believe. you been filming and uploading? And it's because of everything that happened with my mom. I got extremely I believe. Um, triggered and it was hard. It was hard for my mom, it was hard for me. And it kind of just like made me kind of just go into a shell. You know, I get it. I get it when you're being barraged on the internet for stuff that you didn't do. Like perhaps when somebody says that you doxed them and you didn't dox them. I get it. Uh, you know, it can be hard, but I also find it kind of interesting that really it should be her mother who's really offended and hurt by most of this. If I was in Amber's position, I'd be pissed off. Her mother should be the one that's kind of hurt, but I'd be pissed off. Now we all react, we all can all react. You can choose to react how you want to react to anything. But of course, she's gonna make it about her. And it wasn't even just with YouTube, it's been just in general. And I've just been having kind of like a hard time. And that's just me being honest. So the next question is, how have you been feeling mentally? Same I feel question. Like that's a good question to have on here. I haven't been doing that great. I have been feeling extremely low and depressed and it's hey, kind of like there's this thing i just was reading about this really cool this new thing you can do there's these doctors 
and they specialize in not actually uh, like colds and, and injuries, but they specialize more in mental and things that go on in your brain. And literally, you just go sit and talk to them and you can sort out a lot of these problems. Amber, go to therapy for the love of God. Go to therapy. Dark. So I had to take a step back and I told myself that I'm going to wake up today and I'm going to kind of like fake it till you make it. And I'm going to just try my hardest to be an adult, film. I had An adult would go to therapy. Amber has presented us with a literal laundry list of mental disorders that she's very proud to hold, but she's not motivated enough to go to talk to anybody about all this stuff. Getting up and shaking it off and I'm going to fake it till I make it is great, but not if you have the actual diagnoses that you claim to have. That's a great attitude. You know, when you're feeling down, when you're feeling blue, if you're feeling like life's been kicking your ass lately, sometimes fake it till you make it actually works. But I don't think that's valid advice for somebody that has actual disorders that they're dealing with. Cameos that I did, which I thoroughly enjoyed. Oh, cameos. Those made me very, very happy. So thank you guys so much for requesting cameos. Like, it means the world to me, truly. And now I want to go back to, like, doing things that I love because I have lost all interest in pretty much everything. Ca Amberlyn reads, cameos are $60 US, 74 Canadian, 74 Canadian dollars to get Amberlyn to do a cameo for you. We'll look at the new cameos on the live stream on Wednesday. I have just hit a very low point and I'm trying to just pick myself back up. Next question is, what's the update on you going back on Ozempic? So I definitely do want to go back on something like that. So there is semaglutide, which I'm pretty sure I'm pronouncing that right, which you can get at med spas, which someone actually contacted me on Instagram. Okay, I. that's generic Ozempic, Amber. That's generic Ozempic. You know that, right? You know that Ozempic is semiglutide. Like, do you not understand what that is? Because you're big on the soapbox tirade about people shouldn't be using it to lose weight when there's people with diabetes who can't get their medications. It holds true for this one too. It just doesn't have the same label. Amber, it's the same medication. Grandma told me about and who's going to stick the needle in her tummy for her? Is her mom going to come over every day and stick her? Is she going to learn how to do that herself? About it. Actually, one that's kind of near my city. I am interested in it. It's going to be cheaper than Ozempic. So yeah, I am going to call them. Yeah, because yeah, it's the generic brand. That's how medications work even here in Canada. Can't speak too much for the States. I don't understand all your medical stuff. But even in Canada, you can get a generic version of a, of a, of a drug and it's cheaper. Amber, are you really 33, 34? How old are you? And I'm going to set up a consultation. So that is something that's going to be in the works. Next question is, do you think you'll stay in Oklahoma for the foreseeable future? I think for now, I definitely want to stay here. Um, I love everything about Oklahoma besides the weather. Uh, there has been a lot of tornadoes lately. Ooh, I hope must... everyone is okay. It's definitely scary. I have a lot of anxiety when it comes to tornadoes. You guys know that. Remember, Amber has the tornado poops. The anxiety makes her poop. It is scary, Amber. I don't. I do feel for you. It's got to be especially scary for somebody who's in absolutely no position to ever help themselves. So I really, seriously, honestly, because I I hope that nothing ever comes close to you, because I can't imagine how unwieldy you would be in an emergency situation, and I don't think you would do well. And I worry for you for that. So I really hope no tornadoes come near your house, girl. Seriously. Pooping aside. <laughs> so it's kind of ironic Real. that I'm living in Tornado Alley. Ugh, that's like literally the only thing I hate about it. I don't Fair. know how I'm going to do this summer because that's when it gets real bad. So I am kind of dreading that. But as for everything else, like I love living here. I love being around family and I'm creating a life here. And I love that. Next question. Her voice really shook there. I noticed it when we watched it in the rage stream. She's on the verge of tears here when she's talking about family and I'm not sure why, because it doesn't feel like just overwhelmed with love. 
I'm probably reading too much into this, but listen and see if you can hear what I hear. When she says family, her voice is really shaking, like as if that's something going on there to me. Don't know how I'm going to do this summer because that's when it gets real bad. So I am kind of dreading that. But as for everything else, like I love living here. I love being around family and I'm <laughs> a life here. And I, I don't know. That. Maybe I'm hearing Next too question much. question is, do you think reaction channels should delete their videos where they said false statements about your mom? Because technically that is defamation. That's a hard question. I don't really. Amber, you defamed me last week. Last week, Amber did an Instagram uh, story. Which, yeah, they disappear, but the internet's forever, so we have it. Um, where you literally said, the narc alert doxed me. Oh, wait, what? Wait, what? When did that happen? Because that didn't happen. So I'm going to go out on a limb here and say, Amber Lynn is going to say reaction channels don't need to delete lies. Because... She'd have no catalog left if she had to delete every video that she had with a lie in it, right? I'm also going to say it amazes me that she's not more outraged about people digging into her mom's personal stuff. But she was, like, she was more outraged about us showing that seminar than she is about all this stuff. And if somebody phoned the court clerk to get information about her mom, isn't that doxing? Like, doesn't that mean that Kiwi Farms has all her mom's personal information now. I mean, I don't know. It's just oddly... The conclusion, the only conclusion I can draw is the situation where she claimed that the, the weight loss seminar situation directly affected her. This situation peripherally affects her. It affects her mom more than it affects her. So maybe it's the narc response to be more offended by things that, I don't know, it's just, it puzzles me that she's not more, like, if I don't like my mom, I love her, I don't like her, but if somebody dug into her personal stuff and started posting it online, I would be flipping mad. She doesn't seem outraged enough. She feels like she's using this situation more to be upset for herself. It's weird, but typical, I guess. I know because when I think of that, like I think of myself, like I have said some things in the past that weren't true, even though I thought they were. Yeah, two time. weeks ago. It doesn't mean I'm going to go and delete them or anything like that. You should. Um, so it's like, do I want to hold this? Because quite frankly, I think writing down a blatant lie that attacks somebody's character is slander, right? Or libel. When you write it down, it's even worse, Amber. And you wrote it down. You wrote it down and accused me of a crime. But go off, queen. Same standards for reaction channels. I mean, in the sense of, like, the reaction channels that, like, really, truly were like, yeah, Amberlynn's mom did do this. Like, it is defamation. That is technically, like, the term for it. Oh, I think they should delete the video. I guess maybe morally it makes sense to do that, especially because they were so wrong. Like, if you guys didn't know, oh, like, were. this whole thing about my mom has just been really hard um, because we knew it wasn't true about my mom doing something to a service animal. And I guess supposedly there was a reaction channel who ended up calling the court place. And it turns out that it was a technical error, a keystroke error. And it's like me and my mom knew that she would never ever in a million years do something like that. She has made a lot of mistakes. Like you guys have seen her record. Um, it's just like, how is she supposed to move on from something that she did over a I love, I mean, it, and it's nice that it actually, um, I can't think of it. God, I lost the word. It backs up their story that she never did it. I mean, so the fact that this reaction channel, and it wasn't Jordy, I forget who it was. It's a smaller reaction channel, but I saw their name somewhere along the line. Um, the fact that they called the court exonerates. Um, it does exonerate. The situation so i get why it wouldn't be seen as horrible but i love how she just glosses over yeah so a reaction channel called the court and spoke to a court clerk about my mother's personal records it just glosses right over that but narc alert and kick and Geese showed a public free seminar for a decade ago like she has literally made amends and has taken accountability nice. and has been sober for nine years like it's not like she made you know bad mistakes and then 
didn't make amends and didn't take accountability and didn't change who she is. Like I, I have gotten so many messages from people where they were like, the only type of person who can't forgive your mom is someone who has never either a suffered with drug addiction or have known someone who has suffered with drug addiction. Amberlynn is quoting my video from Saturday. Of course, she'll never, ever, ever say the narc alert was one of the few channels that had a measured take on all of this. I said the same thing. I said, if everything that she's going to say here now is what I said on Saturday, but I'm still always the biggest runt in the Amberverse. It's ridiculous. I was very kind to Amber's mother in this situation. And I think everything she says here is completely right. And I think that makes sense because if you don't understand something or you've never been through something. Then what I said was we all bring our own life experiences to what, and that's what forms our opinions. So I can't speak to what that, since we don't name this reaction channel. I love how I'm the only one that gets name dropped, but everybody else doesn't. So um, I don't know what experiences this person brings to form their opinion. And that that is why we all have different opinions because we all have different experiences in life. And I even said this too. I can see why you'd be like, whoa, you know, that's not forgivable. And I understand that to an extent, but truly I feel like what matters is that I forgive her, her mom forgives her. I said that too. Forgiveness is not for us to give. It's not, it has nothing to do with you. Do you need uh, name a celebrity who committed a crime? Do you need them to, to, do you have to, do you feel like you have to give them forgiveness? No, it's nothing to do with you, it really doesn't. Her, her family forgives her and she forgives herself. And that's exactly what has happened. And I think that's why like all of this just like coming up and like strangers, like, you know, this YouTube channel is mine. It's not my mom. So like and I said, so many strangers just like attacking her for stuff that she did while under so many drugs. And I said, money. Um, it's been hard for her because it's like, of course it's not it has something that like a normal person goes through, you know, it is not, they do bad things and they either take accountability or they don't, but usually that's like within their family, within their small little group. But my mom is currently experiencing within the people that their that your actions affect. These actions didn't, this community sometimes likes to get right now. It's, you know, we could even maybe trace it right back to Amber being boring. So the community is very thirsty for some drama and some intrigue. And this came up again. So people ran with it. I don't think they were right in running with it. Like I said, even if you looked at that statute, which apparently she wasn't even charged with, but that statute was so wide reaching, it could have been as simple as distracting the animal by giving it treats to unaliving it. So, you know, nobody should have jumped to the far end of that spectrum, but given the atmosphere in this in the Amberverse, people are thirsty for drama and therefore stuff like this gets created. Now, the thing is, she knows this. She's used it to her advantage in the past. Now, I have to wonder, too, if there's any fallout from her mom about this. Like, is her mom mad about this? Wouldn't you be? I've seen thousands of strangers just, like, bashing her for something that she did when she wasn't even truly her true self. And it's just been, like, really she didn't hard even do it. for us. I'm not going to lie. But do I think reaction channels should delete their video? It makes sense if you if you would because the information is so not accurate. But like I also stand understand if they don't because it is their job to an extent. So I because Amberlynn doesn't want to lose money. She knows if she re if she required people to take down videos where they made lies, then people would of course demand that of her, and she'd end up with I don't know one video maybe I don't know. Oh yeah, the ASMR videos definitely see both sides of the situation so next question is has your mom changed your opinion about going on your channel so I when i so. first moved here my mom was very like i don't want to be on it yet like she was just like super shy about it and it was definitely something she was thinking of doing for sure and then just as of recently like she randomly just like showed her face on video and she's been feeling a little bit more like oh maybe we should have like a cooking series on your channel it's something that we wanted to start and but the minute she... What a loss to the community. Can you imagine how much fun I would have had with Amber Lynn Reed and Mama doing a cooking series? Oh, Amber, please do it anyway. 
screw those haters. You get in there and you do what you want to do. Don't let them stop you from living your best life. Showed her face like this whole thing happened and it made her literally tell me, I don't think I want to be on your channel. I don't blame her. And that like hurt. Who would? Who would want to be on Amber's channel? Anybody that goes near her gets attacked. I mean, fair enough. Would you be on Amber Lynn Reed's channel? I sure wouldn't. Me, but like oh, I get obviously. it. I don't know if she's going to change her mind. I really hope that she does because like who she is as a person now, like that's the person that matters. And well, then she didn't let's know hope she doesn't change her mind. Why don't you just keep her off the damn channel altogether? I know you can't because she drives you around and she's your single, solely, only friend. But maybe it's time to do something else. Not go through so much hard work to just constantly be held at the person that she was in her addiction. Because if that's the case, who would ever want to get sober if they're constantly being held? That's exactly to what I said. Who they were then, like. That's what I said. So it doesn't matter what you did in your youth. If you got better, you made restitution, you went to jail, you paid your dues to society, you've been sober for 20 years. In that reaction channel eyes, you're still and always will be a piece of shit. So yeah, really, why would you even bother getting sober? Is there any point in sobriety if you're never going to be forgiven for anything? That's ridiculous. It's such a ridiculous take. I have to only assume that that's a very young person's take who hasn't maybe experienced enough things in life to be able to understand that sometimes even you might need forgiveness along the way, right? Just saying. What's the point of getting sober and improving and taking accountability and completely changing who you are as a person if that's the only thing that people are gonna think about when they think of you? I just don't think it's fair. The next question is, how does your mom feel about you talking about her past on your channel? So that's something that like, I've always been super worried about so even when I first started my YouTube channel, I asked both my parents, like, how do you feel about me sharing, you know, things about foster care? I don't believe this. Or things that, you know, you guys. She's never respected anybody's boundaries ever. I find it hard, very hard to believe that when she started her channel, which is when she was really not speaking with either of her parents, that she took the time to call them to ask for consent about that. I don't believe that for a second, but I also don't think she needs it because like she's going to go on and say in 27 different ways, I'll say it succinctly and, and once, it is her life. It is her story. She's allowed to tell it. You guys have done that has affected me and something they both always have said, which I have always found so like... God, she drags things out. I just, I just feel very thankful for it. It's like, it's your story too, Amberlynn. Like we put you through these things and our actions have yeah, we mom's know. record. Like that's not something actually I would have ever brought up. I would have never like brought up my mom's record. I'm pretty sure you have in the past, Amber, before you fell in love with your mom again here in Oklahoma. I don't know if you recall, you trashed the hell out of her in a lot of videos. You said a lot of shitty things about your mom. And you know what? I'm not even going to judge you. You are entitled to do that because we do not know the relationship that you have with your mother. We don't. Nobody knows the personal relationship anybody has with their parents. So it's really not fair to judge. You know, a lot of times we, we judge people's, we hold our insides against other people's outsides and that's not fair to either party. So, but truth be told, she had a lot of shitty things to say about her mom before. A lot of them. I wonder if Mama Lynn has watched those videos. Ever. Um, and the only reason why it did is because of this whole thing that's happened. 95% of the things that I have been through, I have never mentioned on my channel, but the 5% that I have mentioned, it very much. 95% of her life she doesn't talk about. Are you kidding me, Amber? Really? God love her. She really wants us to think she leads this exciting life when the camera's off. Girl, you don't. We know you don't. much does involve my parents and i have gotten permission because they say that it's also oh she's still talking about permission yeah we know i'm just appreciative of that next question is are you and valentine still together yes yes we are question number nine do you i don't believe i don't usually say things like this but i don't believe valentine is a valentine first of all valentine um <laughs> if you don't know 
one of my mods is named Valentine. It's not, uh, I don't, and bottom, I, it's not a real person. I think this is a made up imaginary story. I don't think there's a Valentine. Do you think your food addiction is exacerbated by social media? And I would say sometimes, but it's mainly because like, I am also like kind of an emotional eater. And kind of? when things get rough, I turn to food. Kind of. And that does happen. Next question. What's something weird you get anxiety about? But like, I have a lot of like- I noticed that whenever things about food come up, she really likes to downplay the- Like, remember before, all she did was shove her food addiction down our throat. I've got BED. I've got food addiction. I've got food addiction. I'm a food addict. I've got BED. Now when anybody asks her about it, she- Oh, she's very lacy fair. Well, you know, sometimes I might overeat when I'm a little upset. Like, come on. Who are you kidding? Like food anxieties and- I recently just opened up to my um, friends about that. It's like some of my really bad food anxieties. It's like if I have like a double cheeseburger, that's one of them. Or like a lot of pasta at once. Or pizza. Those are my top three. And by food anxiety, I mean like while I'm eating it, like for some reason my brain is telling me you might have a heart attack while eating this. And I know that's like not true and that's more than likely not going to happen while i'm really you know that's not true you know that that's not true you know that sitting in a 500 pound body and eating a food that's high in fat and sodium but you know that'll never you're never gonna have a heart attack while you're eating that food wouldn't do that to you food is your best buddy girl have you heard about the heart attack girl in las vegas people die from eating this food People die while eating the food. Just stop eating that food. And again, I, I dread. I really honestly dread for you to have a heart attack. Not only because it would be horrible for a young woman your age to be throwing your life away to the point that you're having a heart attack from your own abuses at your age. But the way that social media would come at you would be shameful and revolting. And there's nothing you or I can do to stop that. So please, for the love of God, girl, please do not, after what you said to me, please do not have a heart attack. Please. Eating it. But like, I do get those like negative thoughts. Those are my top three ones. Sometimes I don't get that at all. But if I am getting that, also, so one of her top three fears when she's eating food is that she's going to die of a heart attack and you had the fucking nerve to say what you said to me. When that's one of your biggest fears? It's not actually even one of my fears. It's nothing I think about because I live a reasonably healthy lifestyle. Reasonably. Wow. You're a lot, girl. I, usually I, just, won't. I just can't with this woman. <laughs> Finish my meal. I'll purposely only eat like half of it. Oh, that'll fix in my it. my brain, that like makes me feel like, oh, now you have less of a chance of having that wow. heart attack. That's a I know that's like station. the weirdest thing ever. Or for me, it feels pretty weird. So that's why that is my answer for this question. Next question is, how does Valentine feel about you posting thirst traps on TikTok? So I have asked her. First of all, I don't know if I'd really classify what Amber Lynn Reed does as thirst traps. Um, trout pout a lot of trout pout and a lot of uh neck cleavage but yeah i don't know if that's a, a true thirst trap and second of all valentine is an imaginary person so i'm sure they they're fine with it this because i do get this question a lot people are always like why do you post you know tiktoks like this if you're in a relationship so then it got me thinking and i was like hmm is it weird that i post tiktoks like this like so it's then i was she's like still okay. looking for somebody she doesn't post thirst traps, quote unquote, thirst traps a lot when she's in a relationship. She only does it in between. I'm going to ask Valentine, like, what does she think of it? And honestly, she said she doesn't mind and that she kind of likes it because she so gets you're in this deep, committed, loving relationship and, and you post TikToks all the time. And she's never mentioned your TikTok. Like, she thought, oh, I better ask her what she thinks about my TikTok. You've never discussed your TikToks? I mean, Amber, that's all you do is TikTok and film YouTube. I'm sure that's part of your conversation. I also see them, and she thinks I look really good in my TikTok. So it's not something that, like, is. 
bothers her. She's not really insecure and she's super confident in like the way that I feel for her and the way that she feels for me. So I don't think there's an issue and with it, but if she was- Oh my God, she's so supportive. I've never felt this kind of support before in my entire life. This is amazing. I was bothered with it. Obviously I wouldn't do it anymore. Next question is, does Valentine want to appear in your YouTube videos? She does. It is something we have talked about. And she said that she is willing to be in my videos, but I think that we're both waiting to we're both. This is, makes Valentine seem imaginary too, because what stable minded human being would want to be in an Amberlynn Reed video? Come on. It's like asking for the whole internet to, to, to pee all over your head. Nobody wants to be on a video with Amber both ready because I think that's like a really big step. I'm not going to lie because I haven't had my partner in videos in a really long time. No. So it's kind of going to be like really new territory for me. So I want to just like wait. I think she's just teasing this because it gives her something to talk about. It gives her some kind of uh, to keep the audience hooked. I don't think this is real. Um, especially like I just am not in the greatest headspace right now, as you guys can tell. So I just want it to be like a really good time when we finally like take that next step whether it's like her real name or whatever it may be question 13 how, how do you feel name? that no reaction channel has come out and apologized to your mom after bashing her for something that she didn't even do so i think there was one reaction who reaction channel who did apologize and that was alex ashok so i do actually greatly greatly appreciate that because he did it how about the, the channels that don't even have to apologize because they took the right stance in the beginning? No shout out for those channels? God, she will not. She really hates me. Even when I'm fucking supporting her, she won't say a kind word. I mean, don't get me wrong. I don't care. I don't need Emberlyn's approval or attention or anything. But it amazes me the hypocrisy. It just amazes me the hypocrisy. So sorry. It makes me emotional because he did it like the day he found out that it wasn't true. Oh my God. And there are so many other reaction channels that like literally bashed my mom. That's I did how not. It felt. That's how it felt to us because it's hard. It's heavy. Um, there are other reaction channels who like spoke on it like the day of. I like when they it. thought it was true. And then they just haven't said anything since. They haven't said anything. I didn't spoke on speak on it on the day of because in these situations, I don't like to speak when news is breaking because you might take the wrong stance on something because you haven't gotten all the information yet. So it's better to wait to form an opinion once you have gathered all the correct information. But that doesn't matter. In sense, finding out that it's not true. And it just, it puts a bad taste in my mouth. And I've always had like a love hate relationship for Alex is shook, but like there have been instances, this is not the first one where he has like done the right thing. And I just appreciate him for that. Like truly, like I even told my mom. He's so good. He's so, he's so good. He always does the right thing. He's so kind. Okay, I'm gonna relax. He apologized and because my mom knows a little bit about reaction channels, none by name or anything weird like that. She just knows that they exist. And um, she's also appreciative. And she's also strangely and ironically and weirdly enough appreciative of the person who called the courtroom. And because I feel like- That shouldn't be strange or ironic. Quite frankly, it was definitely overstepping boundaries, but you should be real happy that they did because of course it exonerated her. So why would that be weird and strange? Of course, she's going to be thankful for that. I feel like the call was made to prove that I was lying. That's what it was. Called. When in fact, I wasn't. Yeah. I was vindicated. My mom was vindicated. Um, but we are both actually, strangely enough, grateful that that call was made. And it's not strange. Amber you know, exonerates you. Why is it strange? Even in the courtroom. And that's just proof that things like that do happen. Um, it is odd that someone would call but we are grateful that it did so i should be in jail for screwing with her real life for showing a weight loss seminar public free weight loss seminar available online but hmm, it's kind of strange just oh, 
Papa. It's a little bit odd that someone would call the court. Papa. You are a weird lady. It happened. And I think you know, a weird lady. my mom had to like put me in a different headspace. You know, it's about your pri your priorities within your, you know, your, you know, your, your priorities for a minute because this Here was just go. getting hard and heavy and she was like you know what amberlynn that person could have not revealed about the error and true. i was like that's true you know the person could have called that's true they had a lot of integrity to actually release that that was they could have sat on that so i i'm impressed with that i think that's awesome and found out about the error and then just like i said before we're reaction channels we're not destruction channels your goal really shouldn't be with your YouTube channel to destroy the human being and their family. We should just be reacting. That's all. Like kept quiet. But the fact that they, you know, I, I haven't seen that. I don't know if it's like a video. I heard that it was like a, a YouTube channel. I don't even know who it was. I don't know their name or anything like that. So I'm assuming the person made a video and said, you know, it's actually just an error. You know, they could have not done that. So, so the fact that they it. did, we are appreciative. So thank you. Next question is, is there a reason why people think that your girlfriend is fake? So the only thing that I have seen, because I do get messages, <laughs> is that people think that she's fake because of the timeline. Because no, Amber, people think that she's fake because you lie about everything all the time. And there's no zero proof of like, it's just the timeline makes it very suspicious coupled with the fact that you are a prophetic, uh, 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 what's the word you lie. Cause two of my exes are also in like pathological, or whatever. pathological. That's the word I was looking for. And it makes sense. I understand because I waited, uh, like over two months to reveal that I even had a girlfriend. Like that's the only thing I can think of because like I have never and really- isn't really a girlfriend if you haven't met yet. You know, maybe a pending girlfriend, a girlfriend to be, I don't know, we've, we could argue this point forever. A lot of us don't feel like you're really in a relationship if you've never met the person. I totally understand forming a really intense relationship online with people. It happens to us, absolutely. But I don't think I'd call that a, a girlfriend or boyfriend and that might be just me but they've been single for that long so it shouldn't even be surprising that i have a girlfriend at this point so the last question is do you have a problem with jealousy so i'm not really a jealous person i don't get jealous of other people's money or other people's looks or other people's this or that what i do get jealous about though is like stuff in relationships like when i'm in a relationship like i am a jealous girlfriend. oh my god can you imagine um, i don't know if that's nightmare. like part of like an insecurity of mine or if that's like bpd i don't know what it is but i do get kind of jealous pretty jealous and hey do you notice that now she always has Twinkie's bed right behind her, exactly where I always put Rio's stuff? Is that a coincidence? Am I going crazy? If there's a Twinkie cam set up, then we're going to know for sure. And I'm actually working really hard on that. And I, th and I should probably do this because the man is actually... Oh, you can't see him. We're coming in on the end, so we'll just make her a little small. There, now you get to see the man too, just for the last little minute. I feel like I have gotten a lot better. The only thing I can do is improve and try not to like show my jealousy too much, if you know what I'm saying. But you know, Valentine actually doesn't mind a little jealousy. So I guess that's a good thing. So that is the end of this video. I she also said, I'm working on my jealousy. How are you working on your jealousy, Amber? Go to therapy. No, it was kind of heavy for me so it might be heavy for y'all i don't really know but um i'm gonna try posting some more so i hope that you guys did enjoy this video and i'll see you guys in the next one why does she say that at the end of every single video because really we rarely do well there you have it amber lynn's latest video i'm having a really hard time now you know i don't blame her it is what she's gone through is hard but she, I feel like she's taking a lot of this on. So it, you know, really it's her mom should be the one that's feeling worse. Anyway, we've gone through that all. It's odd. She has no content. So I get why she's using this, but why she's not more outraged is amazing to me.
Anyway, I guess I'll never figure out the dainty leader. Thank you all for joining me at this reaction. We haven't done a straight up reaction in a long time. Kind of fun. Uh, we'll do a live tomorrow on Wednesday. And if nothing else, we'll have a peek at some cameos and maybe we'll we'll cover something else as well. But, you know, something that's interesting and fun. <laughs> Listen, this has been fun. And until we meet again, I just want you to be kind and hasta luego. From Rio and I, bye.